Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now, Apple has just released iOS and iPadOS 13.5.1 to the general public, as well as iOS and iPadOS 13.5.5 Developer Beta 1. Now, before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course, updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot. It's very appreciated. Now, timestamps are in the description as always if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS and iPadOS 13.5.1 have released to everyone with a compatible device. This update is very small, coming in at 41.9 megabytes on my iPad Pro 10 and a half inch, 44.3 megabytes on my iPhone SE first generation, and 45.2 megabytes on my iPhone 7. This update's change log is very generic, stating iOS and iPadOS 13.5.1 provides important security fixes and are recommended for all users. The security vulnerability in question was an exploit used for Uncover's 13.5 jailbreak, which supported all devices, including A12 and A13 iPhone and iPad models. This means that you will not be able to jailbreak iOS 13.5.1. The build number for this update is 17F80 versus iOS 13.5's build number 17F75. The modem firmware in iOS 13.5.1 has not changed, meaning that any connectivity issues you may have had with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or cellular have not yet been fixed. Should you update to iOS 13.5.1? The answer is actually very simple. As I said in the beginning, if you do care about jailbreaking or already jailbroken, do not update to iOS 13.5.1 as you will lose your jailbreak and will not be able to re-jailbreak. However, if you don't care about jailbreaking at all, then there's really no reason not to update. Now, when we thought Apple would finish iOS 13 off with iOS 13.5.1, we were proven wrong. It appears that Apple has once again started up the beta process for iOS 13 before the release of iOS 14 beta on June 22nd. iOS 13.5.5's change log is the same as all beta releases, stating, This beta version of iOS 13.5.5 contains bug fixes and improvements. As with the iOS 13.4.5 beta, Apple has skipped multiple build numbers. This could possibly mean that we could see an iOS 13.5.2 or iOS 13.5.3 update before the release of iOS 13.5.5. Now, I would not expect Apple to jump to iOS 13.6 like they did with iOS 13.4.5 to iOS 13.5 as they haven't even gone this far before. Now, keep in mind the iOS 14 beta is right around the corner. This update is coming in at 3.71 gigabytes, almost 4 gigabytes on my iPhone 11, and 3.12 gigabytes on my iPhone 7. Now, the big file size is due to the fact that this is going from a full release to a beta release. Now, of course, I will have a full review of iOS 13.5.1 and iOS 13.5.5 on the iPhone SE first generation and iPhone 7 coming later this week and early next week, so stay tuned for that. Now, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. All right, everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, definitely show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot. It's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the Ice Cool Tech official Discord. Link in the description down below as always. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.